Welcome back everyone to Katia B5 training part two. Today we're going to see Workbench and Toolbar. So let's start creating a new part. Let's go File, New, Part. Press OK. And if we go to the Start menu here, on Infrastructure menu, we have Product Structure Workbench, Material Library Workbench. On the Mechanical Design, we have Part Design Workbench, Assemble Design Workbench, Sketcher, On Shape, Shape, we have Freestyle, and all these are Workbenches. So, and these two, for example, are my favorite Workbenches. This means I can access in a fast way instead of go to Mechanical Design and Part bar design and to customize my favorite workbenches we need to go to tools customize on start menu and all these are workbenches so for example if we added another workbench here for example this one yes we do it my favorites and close it we go to the start menu we see here functional model part and if you click here on the workbench icon you see another pop-up menu with my favorite workbenches so if I click one of these I'm going to change change to another workbench you see now I am on electrical assemble design workbench and all these are the functions for the electrical design workbench okay toolbars for example, toolbars, this is a toolbars electrical connection point definition toolbar. But what happens if we close it here? We don't see it anymore here. One way to appear it again is right click here and look it for it here on the menu. You see, if this one if we click it, it's going to appear it again. Um, but what about if we close a lot of the toolbars here? And we we want to get it back. One way to do it is go to Tools, Customize. Uh, but if you don't see it here, you can appear it in another way. Customize. And if you go to Toolbars, you 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 have these two buttons here. You can press Restore All Content. And it's going to ask you if you want to restore all your toolbar, just press OK. And if you want to restore the position they were before, just press OK. And if you close it, we're going to have all my tool toolbar saying. If you don't see the electrical connection toolbar, it's because it's hidden here. So you, you, you need to drag it from here a lot of toolbars are hiding here in the corner if you see these two arrows that means there are some icons hiding and for the last let's create our own toolbar so let's go again to customize toolbars and new create a new toolbar toolbar With your own toolbar, you can add your own commands. That means if if you don't don't want to start to be changing workbenches, you can add a lot a lot of your all your all the commands you want to your own toolbar. For example, let's say I want to add this 3D cut. Let's press again add command on my toolbar. And for example, let's add this one import. You see here and add comments and let's add another one selection set for example. You see and now if you close it you have your own toolbar with your own comments and you can place it here. So that's all for today. So I hope you enjoyed.